36 hour fast has made me feel not so happy. Uh, I've been through some very hangry periods, I can tell you that much. Uh, for coming from somebody that lives for food, I'm um, doing essentially just a water fast. So I've got just water, tea, decaf coffee, because I don't have caffeine, and uh, I've got a zero cal calorie electrolyte that I have, which is, I can't really go into too much detail about because it's a, a product that somebody's lent me uh, in, that's in development, which they're going to be releasing. So I can't really say anything about that, but if I, when I can in the future, I will, uh, which is really good. So it's like no, no flavors, no colors, no nothing like that. Um, so it's really beneficial to doing something like a water fast. So I'm doing a prolonged fast, 36 hours, I'm about 29 hours in yeah about 29 hours in and uh it's rough it's rough it's a hard thing to do in my happiness hab happiness habits challenge that i'm setting myself for 66 days uh, i was a bit hangry yesterday but uh overall i had a really really good day uh went into the same good vibration yesterday as i did uh the day before which is really good I would be completely lying to say that uh, I was a happy individual from the com for the entirety of the day yesterday, purely because um, there's a few things, a few personal things I had going on yesterday, which um, I won't go into too much detail about, but let's just say the universe is really testing me in this happy, happiness habits project that I'm setting myself to making the conscious decision to be happy every day and throwing in a 36 hour water fast, which was not planned. So I have been planning to do prolonged fast and I was going to work up, say with 24 hours then 36 hours then 72 hours and eventually want to do up to a five day fast. Uh, it's part of what I mentioned about, I'm not sure if I mentioned in this video, maybe on my Instagram, that I'm going to see a naturopath and doing the professional side of things, getting full blood work done for a bunch of different things for my own recovery and healing, but also to optimize myself, uh, I guess, athletically because I train quite a bit in jiu-jitsu and uh, just normal kind of hit circuit training as well. Um, so I was not going to do any type of prolonged fast until I had my blood work done and I actually spoken to my sports nutritionist and naturopath who's an absolute wizard. Uh, but yesterday, literally woke up yesterday morning and Courtney, my partner, woke up and said, oh, I'm doing a 36 hour fast because my sister did it and she was talking to me about it. Um, because uh, something to do with her watching something that Chris Hemsworth was doing with her fast. I've done fasting before. I've done the 16, 8 intermittent fasting. I've done 24 hour fast in the past. 24 hours was like my limit in the past. I got way too cranky. Courtney's like, you have to eat before I kill you. Um, and so this time I was like, you know what? You know, I'm really going to test myself here. So I did it the re really the wrong way though. Because I woke up in the morning, Courtney's like, I'm going to do a 36 hour fast. I just had my smoothie, so I didn't have that benefit of getting the first eight hours to 12 hours done and through from sleeping. So I actually kick-started my metabolism with a smoothie, with a fruit smoothie with fruit and protein, different things in it, so I really would have bumped up my metabolism. So the first whole day into last night, I was struggling. I was in struggle street. And then I trained jiu-jitsu last night, struggled last night, struggled to sleep last night, woke up this morning, same deal, struggled to get through my yoga, uh, but coming into now, it's like, it's about like lunchtime the next day, a bit after, so about 29 hours in, I'm actually starting to feel like a little bit more energized and not too bad, still hungry, getting through my tea, uh, but yeah, so just had a few things in regards to my happiness habits, like I didn't, you know, I'm all about transparency and I want to, I don't want to sit here every single day and go, you know, I decided to be happy today and everything was completely fine and dandy. I really had to pull out my toolkit yesterday in, uh, you know, making sure I wasn't, you know, diving down into a dark place and making sure that I was really conscious of, um, you know, not getting down a little bit too much just of some circumstances happened yesterday. I just got an email before I started work, which was in regards to where we live and the property that we live in, we have to vacate, which wasn't the verbal deal that we originally had with the landlord. We meant to be there for a little bit longer. So it's kind of thrust us into the situation where immediately we've pretty much got to move out, find a new place, which in the area we live in is going to cost us a lot more money every week, every month, uh, which is fine. But 
Um, it's just stress that we don't need and something was thrust upon us that we weren't prepared for. Um, my son did something really stupid yesterday afternoon. He's only three and a half. I'm not going to go into details about that because I don't need to. Something that really upset me and his mum and could have ended up in a really bad situation. But it didn't. But I just added to my mood. And then so we went and we were proactive about our uh, leaving our premises situation and went to a rental property inspection as soon as I got home yesterday afternoon to get the ball rolling through the real estate agent that we know. And then I got home from there and our puppy had chewed up the soles of my only trainers that I wear every day and train in and absolutely love. So I nearly I did flip my little bit lid a little bit and I just had to leave the house went to training last night and I was considering just sleeping at the gym because um, yeah I needed space from home I needed space from that home that we're going to move out from I needed space from the puppy dog and I needed space from my three and a half year old and I was you know struggling yesterday in struggle street so I really had to flip, put you, you got to have that toolkit right it's always something I always talk about your key areas of well-being so the tea toolkit I had to pull out last night, even though I was completely fasted, really bad mood, really hungry, bunch of shit happened during the day. I got to training, it sucked, it was hard, I was fatigued, I trained, I stuck around afterwards and just had a chat to, you know, mates I trained with and just stayed there for longer than what I usually would just to draw out the process and going home, removing myself from that environment. And by the time I got home, I was good, I was fine. I woke up a lot better this morning, uh, a lot happier, lower energy, but I'm still, you know, good enough attitude and stuff to kick, you know, I've been getting sales and stuff yesterday and today. So I'm still, my mood and vibration still been high. Lesson from it is, you know, Nothing's perfect all the time. You can decide to be happy every single day. There's always going to be things. We've had such a long period of time where we've had everything go our way and life ebbs and flows. And today, yesterday, it just ebbed. It wasn't flowing. And I just had to accept the fact that, you know, we've had a good run. You get down times, you get them, whether they're every month, every week, every year, every couple of years, whatever it is, you're never going to have a perfect linear growth, upward growth of just perfection so i had to pull out the toolkit yesterday that's why it's really important to build it this is why um i create i create the content that i do to see how it goes see how i track which is making the decision to be happy every day what roadblocks throw at me when it's going to get hard it does get hard what toolkits i need to use to bring myself back up there and that's what i had to do yesterday i'm going to leave it there so that was day five today's day six feeling a lot better today more energized uh through the 36 hour water fast um can't wait to eat tomorrow i can tell you that much and uh that's it i'm sure i was going with that uh today's day six yeah vibration's still high same thing couple of sales today feeling good um probably rest this afternoon thanks for watching